<laughs> no, never. I actually did it. I did it before. I forget what quarter it was, but I did it uh, earlier in the game. And I guess nobody noticed it. But <laughs> any nerves when you're going up there? Like, did you uh, clear him? I mean, it happened so fast. I didn't even really. I just knew he was going to tackle me low. I'm like, screw it. I'm jumping him. And then I was in the end zone. You ever get nerve hurdle in high school? No, never. When you, when you cleared him, did you know that you were going to score, or like, like, did you look around you at all? Uh, I knew he was like the only defender really in the area, and then uh, yeah, I just make a play. So. How much talk was there about last week? You only got like what one target in, in the game, and you know a lot of people talk about hey, got to work him in. And, Got a lot of targets early on. How much talk was that about this game? Like, hey, there's going to be more, more balls coming your way. Uh, coach told us that we were using a lot more 11. Uh, tight ends were going to get the ball a lot more, which was good. But, you know, last week, Coach Sig uh, got all the trust in him. He knew what he was doing, and uh, we just went with it. Yeah, how does the offensive scheme change when Nick comes in for Keenan there? It looked like you guys were running a lot more 12 personnel, uh, probably running the football a little bit more. How, how does that get communicated to you guys? And was that anticipated when that switch was made? No, uh, for us personally, nothing changes. You know, we knew coming out of half that uh, we wanted to run more 12. So even if uh, Keaton wasn't, I think it'd still be the same thing. How much was Nick struggling in the second half for the ankle? He, he was hurt. And I didn't know actually what happened, but, you know, there were some plays you see him, he could, like, hardly walk. So, you know, shout out to him for uh, fighting through it. How much does that limit you guys? Because a big part of Nick, I mean, we saw in the people, was his mobility and being able to get outside the pocket and let you guys run a bit. How much does that limit you guys as far as a playbook with Nick in there? Uh, you know, it, it hurts a little bit, but uh, Nick's a good quarterback, and uh, yeah. Jim, how much do you feel tonight was about missed opportunities or not finishing off opportunities offensively? Uh, yeah, there were some things we could have done better, but you know, games in the past, we're worried about next week. So, was that the feeling in the locker room though? Of what this game was there, he had if not for these one or two, like you said, missed opportunities throughout the game. So you, wait, wait, say that again. Was that sort of the feeling in the locker room? You guys had this game. You right. No, yeah. And we definitely knew we had that. You know, even coming out of halftime, we were like, we're going to win this game. We had that mentality that uh, we were going to go back and uh, drive on them. And it just didn't come our way. Yeah, but you mentioned Nick was struggling as a teammate. What is it like to see him leaving it all out there? Does that like fire up the offense at all? Oh, yeah. No, all the guys were fired up. You know, we were just keep telling each other, play by play. Uh, Salem tells us all the time, you know, worry about this play right here. Don't worry about a couple plays down the road. So uh, it's huge. Izzy's cooking like that. How much does that open things up for guys like yourself and the receivers? It's awesome. You know, have the defense worry about Izzy breaking on the edge or something like that. It's huge for us. What about you from a blocking standpoint? Obviously, more plays are going to go to Izzy after he gets co- after he gets going. Mm-hmm. You know, what does that change? You know, things for you as far as your role and, and how things are going? Uh, nothing really. You know, I'm still going to do the same thing I do. Uh, Izzy's a great running back. He'll read off of whoever and make the right cut. What was your evaluation on Jared Wayne's play today, especially that catch there in the fourth quarter? Jared's a hell of a player, you know. I, I was right in front of him. I was like, they were going to review it. I was like, I know he caught that. I had no doubt. Uh, that was a hell of a play. You know, there's nothing else you could say about that. It looked like there was a lot of times that Tennessee was getting a free rusher off at your quarterbacks. How much of that is, you know, communication versus like, hey, you know what, we just got to get the ball off back quicker in, in those moments? Yeah, no, uh, coach was saying we got to get it out quick, you know, uh, more hot routes, uh, knowing we had a, a guy coming off the edge, so. When did you find out about Coach Signetti's father? When I was sitting right over there. I, yeah, I wasn't uh, sure, really. So 